All right, so at this point, it's gonna tell you that activation lock, it's fine. It doesn't mean it's stalling or anything like that. You just have to put the password for that Apple ID. Again, if you forgot the password for your Apple ID, you can always reset it. Obviously, you need your email and the Apple ID, it will, it's gonna actually tell you there what Apple ID it is. So you know which email to go to just in case you haven't used this for a while. Anyways, once you put in your password, just select next. So once you press on next because you put in your password for your app ID and your app ID, you're going to see this. Your Mac is activated. You can exit to recovery at this point. And finally, we can get to reinstall the Mac OS. So we can go ahead and reinstall it. You do have to do this even if you're selling it, by the way. We're not activating it at this point with any app ID. We're just installing the Mac OS. Before, with older Macs, it would actually ask us for an app ID whenever we're installing Mac OS on it. However, now it doesn't. And that's a good thing because if you were selling your Mac, you would still activate your Mac with an Apple ID, but at the same time, it wasn't linked to your Apple ID. It was kind of weird, I know. But now at least it works this easy. So all we have to wait is at this point. Then you're just going to see this. Just click on Agree. Select this option, your first option. You should technically only have one option if you follow my video. Then we're going to go on and continue. Now, what does this message mean? This message means we need a power source. So we're going to hook up our Mac to some electricity. So we're just going to use that cable. Once we hook it up, it's just going to go on and do this. And that's because it's very important. Even if you have 100% of your battery, it's very important that it doesn't die at any point in time during this process. So that's why it's asking you to hook it up to some electricity, even though you might have 100% of your battery. So this right here is really about your internet speed plus your max speed. So just wait. So after it's just gonna restart briefly, then you're gonna see this again and don't worry about it. At this point, actually, you could just leave your Mac and then just come back later on, but I'm showing you every single step so you guys don't worry about the procedure. So I'm gonna show you every single part of this process. But uh, we're almost done, actually. If you know how to use voiceover, so there we go. You are all done at this point. If you would like to learn how to use voiceover <clears throat> to set up your Mac, press the escape key. So like I said, you're all done. At this point, you could go on and set it up again. And if you're selling this, you could set it up without an Apple ID. If you just want to put your Mac away, be done with it because you don't really have to set it up even if you're selling it. It's your choice. I like to set it up so the next person can just test it out and see if they like it. But you don't have to. All you have to do is just hold on to the power key. So remember that button up here? Yeah, the fingerprint. Just hold on to it until it shuts down and you're done. Just let it be. Once the next person or once you feel like you want to set this up, just open it up again, turn it on, and you're going to get this screen again and just go throughout the whole setup process. So right now, if you guys want to see how I set this up without an Apple ID, just check out that video. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But again, for the rest of you, you can go on, hold that power key until it shuts down and you are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.